morning. Thank you for choosing Congress. What can we get for you today? For most restaurants right now, it's anything but business as usual. Over the weekend, Congdon's owner Gary Leach came up with a brilliant idea. We were kind of kicking around the toilet paper, you know, crisis that's going on across the country. We said, well, let's give some away. On Saturday and Sunday, if you bought a dozen donuts, you got a little something extra. We were very pleased to see that they were giving a free roll of toilet paper away with a dozen donuts. He's equ equipping us with everything. We got the best of all worlds. You know, $27 for a dozen donuts and I get a roll of toilet paper. How do you beat it? Congdon's posted the offer on social media. And then it just kind of mushroomed, mushroom. After a couple of hours, Gary decided you didn't even need to buy anything from him. Because we also offered if somebody wanted some toilet paper or needed some to just ask. And we just give them some anyways, because again, you know, it's just a basic need. And when you're out, you're out and then you're in trouble. Running out of toilet paper has already become a reality for some. But I went to the market yesterday and they had no toilet paper anywhere to be found. We're on our last roll. <laughs> yeah. So I'm probably going to be like, hey, Gary, can I have one or two? <laughs> we ran out yesterday, but yeah, we, we were able to trade some chicken for a container of toilet paper this morning, so we're set for a couple days. Wells High School senior Ethan McAllister said his mom was the first one to see the Congdon's toilet paper offer on Facebook. I said, there's no way that's real. I thought it was a hoax or something, and we drove by and I saw that, so I thought that was pretty funny. Ethan's reaction is one most people are sharing. It's pretty funny. It, it definitely caught our uh, interest. Because we're all at a place now we don't know what's happening, and it's crazy out there. So uh, just to kind of chuckle a little bit, because we all need a chuckle. Caitlin Shaw works the drive through window at Congdon's. She says the reaction has been... It's mostly kind of just like a giggle, like, oh, thanks, like, <laughs> anything helps. Or, yeah, it'll be like, oh, it's, how's the community doing? Doing, how's your toilet paper supply? And then it's just kind of quick conversation. How's your toilet paper supply? <laughs> it's a hot topic of the town, I guess. You know, most people would giggle first and they'd just go, well, that's hilarious because, you know, you go down to the local store and there's none. And there hasn't been any for, you know, um, weeks. I think it's great. And shame on people who are hoarding it. I mean, really, there are so many people out there that that need those things. You know, they can't, some of them can't even get out to the store. So, yeah, I think it's great. But by Sunday, Gary said something special started to happen. When we were offering the extra roll of uh, toilet paper, most guests said, no, keep it and save it for those who need it. I thought, wow, that is pretty cool. That's why Gary is changing gears. Starting on Thursday, so people can actually bring toilet people here, and then we'll disperse it amongst people that come in and just say they need some. The restaurant owner is also taking extra precautions. All the salt and pepper are individual salt and pepper packets as opposed to <clears throat> salt and pepper shakers. The ketchup is in separate little packages, so they're really, really trying to be proactive. A new sign hangs in the restroom that reads, Condon's Coronavirus Prevention. Wash your hands like you just got done slicing jalapenos for a batch of nachos and you need to take your contacts out. Gary says business has been off, down about 20%. You know, without you know that day-to-day -day business, the staff doesn't get a chance to go to work. We have some contingency plans with our drive-through, so we could stay open, we could do donuts. But the thing most pressing on his mind? You know, it's what we do. Um, you know, people are hungry, you need to feed them. They're wet and cold, you need to bring them inside, you know. I love our town, it's good stuff. I'm really happy that Gary is doing this for the community. People are concerned, so it's always best to think about others and come together as a group. What a nice guy, really, really, and I love this place. At home, when you need a cup of sugar, you go to your neighbor. There's a lot of people that are really anxious about what's going on in the world and um, they need a giggle. In Wells, Congdon's is everybody's neighbor. Thank you. Have a good rest of your day. It'll help. You know, it's not gonna fix it all, but it'll definitely help. And Congdon's is only open Thursday through Sunday during the off season. When they reopen this Thursday, Gary tells me the restaurant will be closed. They'll have the drive through only, and they will give out two rolls of toilet paper for anyone who needs it, regardless if they buy anything.